What up, what a world that's your homeboy. I almost said home dude. What up, what a world that's your homeboy, Wordplay TJ, and I'm back with another video for you. This time around, we're gonna take a look at Beat Bread and see if it's gonna be a good thing for indie artists. Stay tuned. All right, before we get into Beat Bread and talk about if it's important for independent artists, I want to tell you who I am. Um, my name is Wordplay TJ. I'm a hip hop artist and producer from Little Rock, Arkansas, and I make music for the underdog. And what I do on this channel is go through the journey of being an independent artist uh, with you and along with everybody else. And then I give you the tips and tricks that I learn along the way. So if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up for the algorithm. And then we're going to to get into the content. So I read a news story on Music Business Worldwide about United Masters and basically they say they they have partnered with a company called Beat Bread in order to fund independent artists. So basically they have a pool of money, they advance artists and then sort of like the record labels, they recoup that advance. And so I'm curious about whether or not this could be good for independent artists. So number one, we need to jump into what is Beat Bread. So Beat Bread is a platform that matches investor funds with independent artists in order to advance them the money. And then they use billions of data points. So this is technology scanning all of your information and your metadata, you know. I like that metadata from your songs on uh, platforms like Spotify, YouTube, etc. And then they say that you keep 100 percent of your um, your rights, not your royalties. This is this is wrong in here. Let me change this up a little bit. Oh, man. So you keep 100 percent of your rights, but they advance you money. They recoup on that that money and then you get to invest that money into your company. And so, hmm, is it a good situation? <laughs> Normal record deals aren't a great situation and they uh, they own a percentage of the rights in, in most cases. And so. I feel like this is starting on a good foot for, for artists, but let's keep going. So how much do they advance people? So they can start anywhere from $1,000 to 1 million. But what's the catch? What are artists having to do in order to make sure that they get that on, in order to recoup all of that money? Like what's, what's the deal here? Who's winning in this situation really? The, the platform sounds pretty legitimate to me after doing some research, but I wanted to break down some of the frequently asked questions that's on their website and see if we can get a deeper dive. So how many fans do you need to get funded? Typically is as little as 10,000 fans. So that's maybe like 10,000 monthly listeners on a consistent basis. And if you're new to those 10,000 fans, then your amount will be relative to that. And they can go all the way up to 10 million monthly listeners, which is really, really significant. And, and at that point, if you're already independent and you have 10 million monthly listeners, like, what are you doing with your money? But I'll get to that later. So basically artists who have been within those ranges uh, for a few months, more at least a few months, uh, they, are, they are passionate, they have engaged fans, they can, they're likely to qualify for the funding. But what are the fees? What are the what, what's the what's the catch? Who who starts to win from this? And so the platform itself has a fee of two hundred and twenty eight dollars plus two point eight percent of the total advance. And so they're going to recoup on that money and say if it's let's do some math. Here we go with my calculator. $1,256. Mm, they're kind of winning in that situation. I, I, that's a meager, meager profit, but let's, let's see what it looks like if it's like, I don't know, 
10 million dollars and maybe i should just do this on the computer so garrett can see that means that you would have to recoup one million uh, twenty eight thousand two hundred and twenty eight dollars for them and it's not bad that's not bad returns on that type of a investment and so um I, I think honestly you know it's not that much of a hit when you're asking for that much but at the same time like do you really need that much if you already have like millions of fans listening already i feel like you could do it yourself but that's just my opinion let's keep going the terms are in your control so the length of the term the scope of the work so a certain number of new releases plus the catalog or or you know only your existing catalog so you don't have to necessarily make new music the amount of income you keep before your advance is repaid is um, also in your control so say you want to sw slide it to like i keep 50 percent or something like that then that's within your control but these sliders are going to work together from what I can tell. And if you want to keep more, then the length of the term might be shorter. So you got to figure that out. You got to do that math. So what happens if I don't pay on time? So most artists will repay their advance right when the term ends or a few months before because it's it's based off an algorithm and they figure out the numbers like that. will collect until you are repaid if something happens where you don't. What if I get signed or have a label partner? If your prospective indie label partner is willing, we can provide funding to you and cut them into the deal. Or um, there's a standardized contract that includes a buyout if you connect with a major label. Can I keep my current distributor? And so usually yes is their answer. And if we do have to move your catalog, our staff is skilled, deeply experienced and knowledge in the ins and outs of digital distribution and metadata and playlisting. So they'll try to get you back to where you were. When does the money come? This is a big question. A large share of your advance will be paid within a week of signing your contract. The remainder will be paid when you release new music if it's covered in the deal. So you have to choose whether or not you'll be releasing new music. Any flow through income you're due before the advance is repaid will be paid within seven business days after we receive it from the distributor. So basically what that last sentence is saying that any income that you choose to capture through this deal, it'll be paid to the distributor first, and then seven days later, it'll be paid to you. So if you decide to keep 50%, that 50% will show up seven days after it's paid to the distributor. My question is, what is a large share of the advance? That's really, really vague. I want some clarity on the large share part. So how large of an advance do I get and does it hurt my credit? Well, your data and terms of the advance determine how big the advance is and they will purchase a portion of your revenue for a limited time. So that means it doesn't really impact your credit. It's just a kind of one to one deal and they recoup on that advance. What else should I be aware of? Well, if you have great music, but you have fewer than 10,000 monthly listeners, you're probably not the best fit for this platform. and you got to keep on working. If your income from your distributor is less than $80 a month, keep working. And if you have a higher than normal mix of free listeners, so basically, um, if you got something that's going on that's a little strange with your account, keep working. Is this a smart choice? So this is down to like kind of my opinion of it, but don't take my opinion to heart. Uh, you can do what you want to do. Um, so is this a smart choice? Yeah, if you have the dedication, the discipline, you maintain your brand and you have a plan to use the money. I mean, step by step marketing, PR, all that stuff. You got to have a plan to use that cash. No, if you have no clue what you're doing. If you don't have a manager or somebody to help you run your business, then don't do this. It's not a smart idea. Also, no, if you feel like 
um, you can reinvest into yourself and use your own money. I told you I'd get to this part, but like if you're making enough revenue to reinvest into yourself, it's probably not a good idea to take an advance. An advance is only for like emergency situations when you need a lot of cash really fast. Say one of your songs go viral and you don't know what to do uh, like right away. Number one, if you don't know what to do, you shouldn't be doing this. But your your song goes viral and you're like, man, it's go time, but I don't got any cash coming in right now. I need something to to help me out for the meantime. Well, you can take this advance and do that and then use your revenue stream later on to recoup. That's the only circumstance where I say, hey, I, I think you should do it. But if you have your own revenue, you've been building it up for a little bit of time and it's constantly coming in, then use your own dollars in order to invest. So that's it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. I appreciate you watching this video. And until next time, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ. Peace. I'ma put in work until I'm dead. We can kick it, but I'm never in the red with you. To win to make it profit, never scared business. I'm always cooking up, that's a rare feeling. Uh looking to step it up like a fit bit. Uh gotta be messing it up like the misfit, huh? While it getting thicker than some biscuits, they trying, but they not like Chris Paul can't assist.